Okay, I'd like to give a little demonstration of how to use uh, my program Aircraft Scatter uh, Sharp uh, for uh, calculating tropo scatter path losses. Uh, this is the main uh, display screen of our Aircraft Scatter Sharp. Uh, first thing you want to do is come over here and uh, click the prop mode to tropo. So using the right mode. Then you want to turn key capture on. That's going to be very useful here as we proceed. Then you want to make sure that you have the LAT button clicked for both the home station and also for the DX station. As you can see, those buttons are located next to the uh, LAT latitude bo text boxes for both the home station and the DX station. Next thing you want to do is, if they're selected, deselect default home and default DX so that you're not using the stored uh, default values for home and DX station location. Uh, you also want to deselect uh, auto center and zoom. That's generally very useful, but here where you're really zooming in on uh, locations, that would not uh, work out well. The next thing you want to do is click on the options button up here in the upper left hand corner and then go to the home location page. This page is used to enter latitude and longitude as well as uh, altitude, uh, terrain altitude that is, for both the home station and the DX station. Those are already entered here and we, again we won't be using those uh, for this uh, demonstration. Uh, but this page is also used for setting the uh, mast heights for both the home and the DX stations. And uh, I've got both of these set to 5 meters or about 15 feet. We'll leave them there. Once you've put in the values you want there, click on the Set Home and DX Station button and then click OK. Next thing you'll want to do is make sure you have your uh, uh, values entered for power in watts for both stations. Let's take this down to uh, 3 watts. Uh, antenna gain, let's take that down to 31 and that's in uh, dBi. And then noise figure, and we'll just leave the noise figure at 1 dB. Um, and then make sure you have the frequency uh, band set for the band you want. We'll keep that here at 10 gigahertz. Um, now if you're, what you're going to want to do now is find the best path or find a good path between two general locations. First thing you want to do is start uh, zooming in here by using the uh, uh, button here in the upper right hand corner. And then you can move the map by right clicking and dragging. And let's get this uh, position here uh, close to uh, the center of the map which is marked by that little plus sign there. This is for setting the, the uh, we'll use the home station for the rover. Set this up here and then uh, once we've done that uh, we've zoomed in so we're in the general area we want and uh, I'll take it up maybe to, uh, let's take it that close. Next thing we will do is uh, Let's determine uh, uh, some uh, terrain heights here. Now, con Control F3 will give you the uh, terrain height under the mouse. And if you do Control F3 there, you see that that is about 450 meters. We move a little bit here. That's 446. That's 436. That's 472. That's 482. You can see all of these down here in the uh, Key Capture Altitude box. We'll move again, uh, 497, 495, 500, 495, 74. So let's just say we're going to use the uh, 500 here, 504 we got actually. So now that looks like a good spot. So if we do now Control F1, we will put the latitude, longitude, and altitude for that point under the mouse into the home station uh, boxes. And uh, look over at the home station boxes. Now we're going to do control F1. And you can see we've put those numbers over here. So we've got the new Latin long. We've got the new altitude. And as you can see, this has moved here uh, to the new point we've defined. Um, so that's very nice. And then we can move down then here. Let's just uh, follow the path down to the uh, other station, the DX station, and let's look around here a bit, see what we can find. Uh, control F3, looking again down here, 94, 
69, 58, 65, 116, 120, 102, 113, 135. Let's use that. So now if we do control F2, that will put the lat and long under the mouse and the altitude into the DX station boxes. So look at the DX station box. I'm now going to do control F2 and you can see we've got those numbers uh, here. Um, and now uh, to do our calculation, we just hit set home and DX positions. Click this uh, button here. And that does the calculations and uh, you can see we've basically got a margin of a signal margin of 28.67 dB. Total path loss is 221.1 dB. And you get some other pieces of information here. The troposcatter scattering angle is 0 0.56 degrees. Smaller is better there. Um, you can see that the takeoff angle is actually negative for the home station up there in the Blue Mountains at minus 0 0.45. And we've got a pretty small takeoff angle down here in the uh, West Goshen area, uh, Westchester area also, that's a 0 0.43. And this, this uh, value here, uh, kilometers, that's the distance to the first, to the major obstruction, first major obstruction. That's 62 kilometers for the home station, 1.97 kilometers for the DX station. The altitude of the obstruction is 244 meters. That's significantly less than the 509 meter altitude of the uh, home station. So that's why we've got such a nice takeoff angle. And you can see here the altitude uh, of the obstruction for the DX station is 155 meters. And then the actual signal level at the two stations is the same since the stations have the same power gain and whatnot as we put the values in. The signal margin is 28.67 dB at both ends, which is pretty good, uh, 10 gigahertz uh, uh, path. And you, if you want to see the distance, you can come up here. Uh, up here you can see the distance between the stations is about uh, 87 uh, uh, kilometers. Um, so. Uh, that is how you would use this to uh, determine a path. And let's just uh, demonstrate here. Let's pick another point. We'll pick a point here. We'll do Control F3. That's 131 meters, 121. Let's try to get a nice low value. Uh, we're getting good values. Well, 86. There we go. So let's take. Uh, We'll take an 87 there, and then we'll do Control F2 to put that in the DX. Uh, and then we have to hit uh, Set Position here. And you can see our margin has dropped down to 19 dB uh, because our takeoff angle has gotten worse here. It's now 1.36 uh, degrees for the DX station because we're at a lower elevation there. And our troposcatter angle is up to 1.50. So that's how this works. Uh, enjoy. Have fun.